Hey, what's going on? This is The Confidence Magnet here with another great video. In today's video, we are going to talk about getting rid of unrealistic expectations. And this is very important for you guys out there who are always trying to succeed too fast. Now, what do I mean by this? Let me give you an example. Let's say that you want to make a million dollars. So you're going to say, by next year, I'm going to make a million dollars even though I only make minimum wage right about now. Yes, I only make about as much as a cup of coffee an hour, but I'm going to try to make a million dollars by next year. You got to tell yourself, be like, okay, that's unrealistic. Unless I'm going to rob a bank or unless I have an inheritance coming or I get lucky, I'm going to make a million dollars. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to rely on luck. Another guy might think, well, by next year, I'm going to have sex with 360, 365 women. That's one woman for each day of the year. One, that'll be very tiring and that'll be very time consuming because every woman you meet, you will not be having sex with. And on top of that, you are not going to want to sleep with one woman per day. You might get, it's going to become a chore to you. So you, you're going to get no enjoyment out of doing something that's very enjoyable. A lot of people, what they do is they'll burn themselves out, and you don't want to burn yourself out. That's the reason why you have to get rid of unrealistic expectations. What you want to do is you want to think realistically, you want to have a strategy, and you also want to let your body and nature take, take its course. Here's a good way to look at it. Let's say you have a small child, and this small child is looking at you. They're looking at how tall you are, how strong you are, how powerful you are, how smart you are. And they're like, damn, when I grow up, I want to be just like you. So what do they do? They try to imitate you. They try to they try to be just like you. And what ends up happening is you end up telling them, whoa, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? No, you're not supposed to do that. Because they might try to do something that children aren't supposed to do. So what ends up happening is they'll be like, well, I want to be just like you. And you'll be like, well, you have to let nature take its course. Like, let's say that they're trying to grow, and you see that they're trying to stretch themselves out. And it looks like they're, it's getting kind of dangerous. Like, they're doing it in a dangerous way. And you're like, no, you got to let nature take its course. You'll get to that point. And before you know it, you surpass that point. When you get older, you'll be like, wow, like, I didn't even think about it, but... I stopped thinking about trying to go for this thing. I try. I stopped obsessing over it, and I reached that point. And I reached I reach that point in less time than I thought. You just got to let nature take its course. And a lot of times, people, they don't let their body allow them to want to do something. I'll give you a prime example. Let's say that you want to learn a new language. You're like, okay, I'm going to learn 100 words a day. No matter what, I'm going to learn 100 words a day. So you're learning... 100 words a day. Let's say you get 200 words in. And then you do a review. And you can't remember not a single word that you've learned. And you're like, wow. This is pointless. I'll never get anywhere. But if you say, okay. I'll learn about 10 words a day. Or 10 words a, a week. I'll learn those 10 words really well. And guess what? Over the course of 5 years. You probably mastered the language. What seems like it might have taken you a lifetime. You probably mastered a certain vocabulary in a, in, a, in a language. So don't force yourself to do something if you don't want to do it. If you have to force yourself to do something, then you're going to struggle every step of the way. Now let's talk about strategy. If you want to make a million dollars, you got to say, okay, what can I accomplish in year one, then year two, then year three? If you're trying to get women... What can I, how many women can I meet in year one, in year two? I'm talking about quality. I'm not talking about quantity. I'm talking about quality. You want everything that you do to be of high quality. The reason why you want it to be of high quality is because it'll matter to you along the way. If I have a million dollars that I got through robbing a bank or whatever, it's not going to last very long because I'm going to get caught. And I'll go to jail for a really long time. Or I'll get killed before I even um, outmaneuver the cops. If I can outmaneuver the cops, that is. Um, I'll always be looking over my shoulder. The people who I'm robbing a bank with, I have to worry about them. So you got to be very careful about 
the thing that you do in order to achieve something. There are people out there who try to get something so bad, they want it so bad, and then they get an offer that is right there on the table. It looks real easy, but they got to give up their soul. There's a lot of people in Hollywood or in the music business that they wanted something and they got it, but now they regret it because it seems like they've sold their soul to the highest bidder. And you don't want that to be you. You want to be in a situation where you can actually enjoy your success. The same thing goes with self-improvement. If you are trying to lose weight, you don't want to become a bulimic. You don't want to eat and then gir- um, purge all your food. If you see my video, how to, br- how to Burn Fat Effortlessly, that video right there shows you how you can do it. And it seems like all you're doing is just eating a certain way and the weight just comes off. You don't really need to kill yourself in the gym. You don't need to kill yourself um, jogging or running or sprinting or anything like that. But when you do all that stuff, when you work out, when you sprint, when you do cardio and all this other good stuff, you notice that the weight is coming off the way you want it to. And you're exercising for getting stronger or getting more athletic rather than burning weight, I mean burning fat. So it matters your strategy that you use in order to succeed. And I, the reason why I created this channel is because there's a lot of people out there who they actually are trying to gain some kind of success and they're struggling at the moment. And if I can show them how to do something or if I can tell them a way that it's very effective and it seems almost effortless and they don't have to sell their soul or burn themselves out, then why not share it, right? I do want to say this though, and it's about self-improvement. Self-improvement is just that you're improving yourself. So you don't want to... Work harder than you need to. Life is about challenges, not struggling. You don't want to struggle every step of the way. You want your life to be smooth and easy and as effortless as possible. And then you'll have some challenge that comes along the way. That challenge, it'll stretch you out. But you don't want to overstretch yourself out. So in order to self-improve, you don't want to burn yourself out and you don't want to overstretch yourself out. So keep these things in mind when it comes to having those expectations. You want your expectations to be realistic, but you want to have control over those expectations. That's why you don't leave it to chance. The wealthy and the powerful, they don't leave anything to chance. They work for it or they get with the right people who can help them gain that advantage that they need to succeed. Anyway, that's for me today. I want to thank you guys for tuning into today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter. You can join the mailing list where you get the free ebook, The Confidence Skyscraper, and also learn how to get women on your terms. Links are in the description box. Don't forget to rate, comment, and share this video with anyone you feel has those unrealistic expectations in their life and they're just not making it, they're just not cutting it, and this video can show them how to keep them on the ball and how to keep them level-headed. Anyway, that's for me today. I want to thank you guys for tuning into today's video. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace.